Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 21st video in React series. Okay, in our 19th video, we have seen how to install Bootstrap and how to use Bootstrap in React. In our 20th video, we have seen how to make the simple project and we have seen how to insert font family and also how to use font icons here. Okay, you can see here I have imported some icons here. Now here I have this four cards. We have seen how to do this one in our previous tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to import images. Okay, now if you see in my project here, you can see I have pasted the links here. Okay, the images link, whatever I got from Google, I have just pasted that one and this images link I got from pixels.com. Okay, you can see here I have this pixels.com and this images I got from this website. And from this website, you will get the images which are completely copyright free. You can use these images in your project as well. Instead of writing this link, I want to save some images inside one images folder, how we used to do in HTML. Okay, and from there, I want to import this one. Okay, now if you see here, inside my SRC folder, I have just created images folder. And inside this, I have this four images, image one, image two, image three, and image four. Now, inside SRC, if you are creating images folder, you have to import images. Okay, I'll just tell you here, I'll just come here, okay. In our previous videos, we have seen how to install Bootstrap and how to import this one. Now here, I'll just write import. Okay, you can give any name here while importing. I'll just give here images one from and you have to give the path name. As soon as you give dot and forward slash, you will be getting this images folder because we are inside this SRC folder and inside SRC folder, I have this app.js. Inside this SRC folder itself, I'm having this images. So I'm just writing dot forward slash images. Now inside images, I just want image one dot jpeg. Okay, you have to write this extension as well. I'll just save this. Now here I'll just come below. And below this container, diff container, I'll be creating image. And instead of this SRC, now I'll be using like this. I'll be writing this one, whatever I have imported, that particular name I'll be writing here. I'll save this. This image, whatever you are writing here, that should match with this. Now you can see here, I got this image here. Okay, this is how we are going to import images and we will be using this images. Now in the same way, if I just do this and instead of one, I'll just change it to two. Here I'll be giving three. Here I'll be giving four. And this images should be matching with this images. Okay, whatever you are importing, you should be having the same extension here. I'll be giving two, three and four. I'll save this. Now I'll just come below. And below this image, I'll be creating that one. And instead of this one, I'll just change it to two, three and four. I'll save this. Now you can see here, I'll be having this images one, two, three and four. Okay, by default, our images are inline elements. So it will take only the width of the image. Okay, it is not going to take complete 100% of the width. It will take only the size width of the image. Okay, this is how we are going to import images. If we are creating file inside SRC folder, then we have to import these images. Now, what if we have hundreds of images and we have to use in our website? Then it's not possible to import each of the images like this. Okay, it's not at all possible to import like this. So what we are going to do is instead of creating folder inside SRC, we are going to create folder inside public folder. I'll just come here. I'll just move into public. You can see here. Are you sure you want to move images into public? Yes, I am just moving that one. Okay, now if I just refresh this, you can see I don't have images now. And also I'm getting this error. Okay, no such file or directory. Now I'm going to remove this entire thing. Now I don't have to import when I create folder inside public folder, images folder, then I don't have to import each image. Okay, directly how we used to do in HTML, we just have to write the images path here. I'll just remove this. And instead of this, I'll be writing here slash, I'll be writing this images folder name. And inside this, I have this image one dot jpeg. I'll just comment these three things now. I'll save this. Now you can see here, I have this output. I have this one image directly. You can use like this. Okay. How we were using in HTML when we want to use images, we used to write like this. Okay. Instead of writing this entire link, if you don't want to use these links, you can just create separate folder inside public folder. And inside this public folder, you have to create this images folder and you just paste your images, whatever you want to use. And then you just have to write like this. Now, instead of writing like this, I'll just comment this and comment this. This too, I'll be commenting out. Now here, first I wrote here dot forward slash this path. Now, if I write here double dot, I'll be writing this images and I'll just write here image, image three dot jpeg. I'll save this. 
now you can see here i'm getting this output okay either you can use dot slash or you can use double dot slash okay now what if if i want to use okay only the images folder name should be matching okay now whatever you are writing here that doesn't match but only this images folder name should be matching now instead of this i'll just remove this now here i'll be writing this dot uh, double dot slash 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 i'll be writing this images and here i'll just write image 4 dot jpeg i'll save this now you can see here i'll be getting the output okay only this images folder should be matching and whatever images you are having inside that folder that should be matching here you can either have dot forward slash double dot forward slash and also you can have slash 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 after slash if i give here dot dot it will not work i'll just save this now you can see here i have only these two images okay this image is not going to display i'll just remove this dot dot now instead of this uh, i'll just give a dot 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 i'll save this now you can see here i'm not getting that image which means that either i can use dot slash double dot slash and double dot slash slash and also dot slash slash okay either way you can use whichever you are comfortable you can use this one but i always use this first one or second one i will never use this third one in any of the project i'll be using either first or second based on your requirement and based on which you feel comfortable and which you feel easy you can use okay either you can import images but import i am not going to suggest to anybody because if we have 20 images we have to import 20 we have to import 20 images okay so i'll just create folder inside my public folder and from here i'm just going to write the path I'll just write the images folder name this name whatever I am having here that should match with my images folder here okay whatever name you give here that should be matching with this now if I just change my images folder name I'll give my images um, display I'll just give here images display now if I just come to my project and now if I just refresh this one you can see I'm not having this images now instead of this images I'll just give here images display I'll save this now you can see here i'll be having this first image okay this image name should be matching with my folder name and inside this whatever images you are having that should match with that image name and also you have to write the extension either you can import the images or you can do this one okay based on your comfortability you can use any one of this okay so i just wanted to know how to import images and how to use images in your website because most of them will get stuck how to use images and how to import images so i just made video on this hopefully this helps you and that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day